Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Stick around if you want to find out how I've made these super cute Bruni cupcakes from Frozen 2. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gregory Gage and this is going to be a baking video. So welcome back to my kitchen. I am going to have a little Craig helping me this time. So it's going to be a lot easier. It's not, it's gonna be more difficult. Right, so let's jump straight in. I need my apron. To celebrate the release of Frozen 2 in the UK today on Blu-ray and DVD, I am going to be baking with Craig some Bruni cupcakes. Now we all know Bruni. Bruni is the lovable fire element from Frozen 2. And he's got a cheeky little face. So we have different things that we're going to be using to make his face on these cupcakes. They're gonna be blue, they're gonna be cute, and tasty. Okay, let's get started. Okie dokie, for the cupcakes themselves, you are going to need 120 grams of softened butter. I am using Lurpak, trusty Lurpak. One glass of gin and tonic. <laughs> one egg, 120 grams of caster sugar, one tisp of vanilla extract, 120 grams of self-raising flour, and then because these are Bruni cupcakes and I want them to be blue, I'm going to be using some blue food coloring as well. For the icing, you're going to need 140 grams of butter, 275 grams of icing sugar, and then again, we're going to be using some blue food coloring to get this really, really Bruni blue. Preheat the oven to 160 degrees if you're using a fan oven, and 180 if it's not a fan oven. So in a bowl, you want to mix the butter and the sugar together until pale. What do you mean until it's pale? It's already pale. Once you've mixed the sugar and the butter together in a separate bowl, beat the egg. How do you fold flour? You have a folder. You, that, you, it's a technique. So you need to add this egg mixture into the original mix along with your one teaspoon yeah, of vanilla extract. Teaspoon. Don't add any extra because it makes it really spicy. And we mix. It smells good. While Craig is mixing the batter, I am going to measure out the self-raising flour. Perfect. Then fold in the flour to the cupcake batter. Mm. Smells really good. Once you've got your cupcake batter to a nice, creamy, smooth consistency like this, we're going to add in a few drops of food coloring to get it nice and blue. Not too blue though. Once you've got a nice creamy consistency, just start spooning it into the cake tins. This makes six to 12 cupcakes, but we're just going to do eight so that we don't have any teeny, teeny, tiny ones. Once your mix is all spooned out, into your cases, you want to pop that in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes or until they're golden brown on the top. Make sure you get an adult to help you with this if you are a child. <laughs> child. Now while these are baking in the oven, we are going to get started on the exciting bit, which is the icing. For the buttercream icing, you're going to want 140 grams of butter, so Craig is just disgusting. <laughs> We're going to measure that out right now. And then we're going to measure out 275 grams of the icing sugar as well. Put that away. Once you've got the butter to a nice smooth consistency, as we have done here, it's nicely beaten, you're going to add in half of this, add it bit by bit and mix it in. All right, we're now going to drop in some blue food coloring. Use the teaspoon. Nope. If your frosting ends up looking like ours, it's not as thick as what I'd like it to be. So what we're going to do is stick it in the freezer to help it thicken up. Because what happens when you're mixing the frosting, the friction from you making the frosting melts the butter. So the butter like heats up, which makes it a lot more runny. And yeah, so that's, that's why we're sticking it in the freezer to cool it down. So I wasn't happy with how the icing turned out, even though it's, it's still in the freezer. We're going to check on it in a bit. But I have just mixed up a new batch and... Da -da. It's much better. This is a nice thick consistency, which is what you actually want, rather than the, the thin and creamy one. Mistakes can happen in the kitchen. I used the full fat Lur pack this time instead of the lower, lighter version, um, and it's come out a lot better. I've done it a lot faster as well, so yes. Nice, thick, beautiful. 
Once your cupcakes have risen enough and they're nice and golden brown on the top, it's time to take them out of the oven. So, let's get these babies out. These are way. nice and golden brown on the top. Perfect. There we go. Now we're just going to leave these to cool before we start doing any sort of decorating because we don't want the buttercream icing to buttercream. melt. <laughs> buttercream. Once your cupcakes have finished cooling down, it is time for the most exciting part about the entire process, and that is the decorations. So I'm going to get the icing out of the fridge, and we are good to go. The decorating part of this is probably the most exciting because you get to be very creative with how you do it. For Bruni's face, what we are going to be using are Milky Bar buttons. For Bruni's nose, I'm using these chocolate sprinkles. For Bruni's pupils, I'm using some milk chocolate chips. I should have got dark chocolate chips because they would probably look better, but milk chocolate will do. And then for Bruni's irises, he's got blue eyes, so I've got some blue fondant. We're gonna roll this out and then cut out tiny little blue circles that will go on top of the Milky Bar buttons. And yeah, that will be his eyes. So let's see how this goes. So Craig is just gonna roll out this fondant here on the Mickey Mouse chopping board. Now while Craig is rolling out the fondant, the blue fondant, I'm going to start icing the cupcakes. So let's get going with this. This might be easier if you have a piping bag but I don't have a piping bag, so I'm just smoothing this out with a knife so that they all look relatively smooth along the top. Bruni has a slightly lighter color underneath his mouth, so I've mixed up a slightly lighter icing. So I'm just gonna pop that along the bottom of these. Now we're just gonna pop on some eyes. The next thing I've done for Bruni's eyes are these little blue circles. I've done these with the blue fondant icing. So I've got 16 of these because I have eight uh, cupcakes and I've just rolled them into little circles that are actually quite thick. So it's about that thick because a chocolate chip is gonna be stubbed into there. To make sure the little blue irises stick to the Milky Bar buttons, what I'm gonna do is just dab my finger in a glass of water and then put that on the bottom of that and then just place them on to the buttons where I want them to be. The water makes it a little bit more sticky on the bottom of the fondant. And once that's done, we want our chocolate chips. And we're just going to place one chocolate chip into each of these to give him some pupils. Now for Bruni's nose, I'm going to be using these sprinkles here. So I'm just going to use like one sprinkle per nostril. And that should hopefully look really, really cute. I'm just going to carve out little smiles on these so you can see his expression properly. Bruni spends a lot of his time throughout Frozen 2 with his tongue sticking out. So I've got some red fondant icing ready to roll here. I'm gonna roll this out and cut out some tongue shapes so I can stick those onto the cupcakes. Just add a few little finishing touches and voila! The completed Bruni cupcakes. Very, very cute. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video as much as I've enjoyed making these very, very cute Bruni cupcakes. If you loved this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. If you decide that you wanna try making these yourself, let me know in the comments down below. I will be back really soon with another little baking task. And yeah, it's gonna be Disney themed. So hit that subscribe button so you never miss any uploads. And enjoy watching my other videos because there's plenty more for you to watch. See you next time, guys. Mwah. Goodbye.